Courage is the mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, and withstand danger, fear, difficulty. It's the ability to confront pain, uncertainty, intimidation, or even a challenge without being overcome by fear. Courage allows individuals to step outside their comfort zone, to achieve goals despite the risks involved. It's a quality that enables people to face tough situations with firmness and resolve, whether it's everyday life, a personal challenge, or a moment of crisis. It's not the absence of fear, but rather the belief in building something sustainable for your future is more important than that fear. There are definitely things that you need to know, especially if you're thinking about leaving your day job for a career in photography. Do you have courage? Seriously, think about it. Are you brave enough to do this? Fully commit to being a pro photographer? This isn't a joke. It's not just about snapping photos, but it's about crafting a livelihood from a body of photography work that brings value. There's something new to learn every single day, including how to create meetings with people who want to see your work, who might even want to hire you. Even if self-doubt creeps in, do you have the strength to keep pushing through? To keep trying? So many talented shooters fall off. If you really want to make it as a working pro, you need courage, commitment, community. I've been doing this photography thing for over 33 years. And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that making a living in this field boils down to having courage. It's tough. There's no doubt about how tough it is, but think about this. You could stick with your nine to five job. You're then always waiting for that clock to hit five o'clock so you could do what you really love. Or you could plan your route into photography full time and spend every day doing what brings you joy. But you gotta have guts to truly commit to the grind of being a pro photographer, to consistently create and share your work, to do that every single day, to connect with those that want to meet you, that want to hire you, to genuinely step up and believe in your talent. This is a journey. There's definitely no sugarcoating it. If you're looking for an easy ride or quick money, might not be it. Careers that are lifelong or careers that are truly worth it rarely come easy. You could be stuck in your nine to five job still and stay there, or you could be hustling hard for your photography business. What would you rather do? One path leads to genuine happiness, creating and working, and bringing value to people every day. The other has you doing exactly what you're doing right now. Fully committing to photography means that you have all the time in the world to do what you should be doing, making photographs and building your business. You don't necessarily even need to believe in yourself, but you absolutely need the courage to start. Artists have to believe in possibilities that don't exist. Brad Rushing said that. This hits home for photographers. We're not just making photographs, we're creating a freelance business through executing the ideas and visions of our potential clients and our own ideas and visions. We have to stand on ideas not yet realized. I'm an introvert, I'm terribly shy, but my love for photography, it trumps my shyness. I care more about my success than I care about my shyness. We're in the business of unseen possibilities. We have to believe that there's people out there who will resonate with our vision, even if we haven't met them yet. Making money in a creative field, to some, that's a Jedi mind trick. Art holds value because it mystifies those that can't create it. People will pay top dollar for paint on canvas, not for what it does, because paint on canvas doesn't actually do anything, but for the emotion and the inspiration that it evokes. We can do applied photography. It's art and commerce. Photography today has an incredible range of applications. It drives products, it drives commerce, it brings humanity to businesses, big or small. Your photography business has the power to bring immense value. What really gives our photography its value? Our commitment to each idea and the commitment to the execution. The passion, the pain, the endless trials and errors. Our work has no value unless we value it. No pain or turmoil attached to your work, then you're not trying hard enough. And likely, you're not making the kind of work that anyone cares to look at. What devalues our photography the most? Our own comparison to others on social media. Comparison is the thief of joy. Anyone who's ever taken a great sunset photo and got a bunch of likes thinks that they're ready for the big leagues until they see what a pro photographer does. For a working pro, it's not a random one-off. It's about consistency session after session, year after year. 
Underpricing your work, there's another way to destroy your photography. Undervaluing your work, it's a fast race to the bottom. We need to value our work, share it, and stand by it. People will talk when they see quality, passion, and commitment. Demand determines price, and price determines demand. Community. Creating a community is key. Use social media platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, not just for exposure, but for making genuine connections. If you see a potential client that you'd like to work with, find common ground, follow them on their socials, learn about them, be human. It's okay to reach out and express your desire to work with somebody. It might not happen immediately, but making the effort to connect can lead to future opportunities. If you're dreaming about being a pro photographer, remember, it's all about the work that you put in. Quality work, quality clients. Don't let your ego get in the way of your progress as a photographer. You may think you're amazing, but it's part of your problem. Admitting that you know nothing is the beginning of understanding. The commitment, the courage, and the community you build, that's where it happens. Keep the faith in yourself and your craft. Even when times get tough, you know that you got this. And by the way, I'm always here to chat if you need some encouragement or advice. Watch this video next. I talk about how to shift your mindset to make it in the creator economy. This one's a big one and you need to know about it. I'll see you on that one. Thanks so much for watching.